Eric Magidson here with CIS 70 Introduction to Computers using Windows Vista. This is Unit E, and in Unit E we're going to talk about customizing Windows using the control panel. So this is basically some tips and tricks that we can do to personalize our computing experience for ourselves under our user account. So as you can see, I'm logged into my Windows Vista personal virtual PC that I've created. I'm going to go into the start menu. The book has us go to control panel. And from there, remember, we have the old XP classic view. So if you're seeing this, we can change it to the control panel home. We can look under personalization and we can go right to change the desktop, change color schemes, adjust screen resolution right there. Or we could click here and then we get the menu for personalization and we can go there. Remember, there's an easier way and that is any place on the blank desktop, just right click and choose personalize. Now I've made this window smaller so we can see what happens to my desktop as I make changes. So I'm gonna go into desktop background and I get some options here. Let's start with just the windows wallpapers. So as I scroll down here, let's look at the windows wallpapers. We've got some black and white pictures, some color pictures. I'm gonna pick this picture of a fish and if you notice, it is now my background. Now I have some options down here and the best way to show you those options is for me to pick a picture that is not big enough to fill my entire screen. So I happen to have downloaded a picture under pictures. Here's my little picture. And what I'm going to do is make that my background. Now I clicked real too quick, so there's my picture. And if you notice, it is my background. But if you notice, the picture is small, so as it stretched the background, it pixelated the picture. Okay, that's why it says fit to screen. Well, let's see what happens if I come over here and choose this option, which is just center the picture. We can see there's the size of my picture. It's now centered. Now, of course, I can pick a background color that might match the picture. Or I can tile the picture and have a background that looks like this. So there are some options if you have a small picture so that you can use it, but I prefer a big picture. And as we discussed in class, what I can do is when we get to screen resolution, find out what my screen resolution is, go out to Google, do an advanced search for pictures with my exact resolution, and get the perfect picture for my screen size. One more thing I quickly want to show you in desktop background is the fact that if we don't want a picture, we can pick a solid color, such as this nice blue here, and now that's my desktop background. I'm going to go back to my default to black, and we'll continue on with the lesson. Now, unfortunately, in my virtual machine, because of the virtual video card that's running, I can't do screensavers. So what I've done is I've opened up my screensaver for my Windows 7 machine and it is very similar to Windows Vista. So I've opened up the change screensaver link. If you notice here, there's a bunch of screensavers for me to choose from. I'm going to go to 3D text. I know it's a little hard to see, but here it says Windows 7 and it's you know moving around, looks 3D. I can come into settings for my screensaver. I can put in some custom text. I can go from spin to things like wobble or seesaw. I can choose OK. And there it is. So there's my wobbling CIS 70 rocks. I could choose preview. Of course, I can't do that while recording a video. But I could choose preview and see what it looks like. So let's get back to our virtual machine and take a quick look at screen resolution. So why do we change the screen resolution? Well, we can adjust the resolution so that things are bigger or smaller on our screen. If we make the resolutions uh, larger, that actually makes things smaller on our screen and gives us more real estate to use. So we can come in here, right click, personalize, We'll come down here to display settings. And in the display settings, I'm only going to be able to change this from 896 to 600. 
If you notice, my display settings will go as high as 2048 to 1920 on this computer. I'm gonna take this down, this is where I was, and watch the outside of my screen for my virtual PC as I do this. I'm gonna take it down to eight by six and say okay. Now by doing this, if you notice, you see how much less real estate the screen is using. My icons are bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and say no, I don't wanna save that. And watch as the screen gets larger because my display settings went from 800 by 600 to 896 by 600. So it got wider, but not necessarily taller. Another thing that we could look at is in here in advanced settings, this is where we can manage the monitor. Okay, so in the monitor, we can look at things like our screen refresh rate. We want to set this for whatever refresh rate the screen can um, support. If we take this, if we were able to take this down, the refresh rate would be slower. So we want to make sure when you buy a monitor, you find out what the refresh rate is and set this accordingly. Okay, so there's three basic things. And that'll do it for the first part of Unity. Stay tuned for the second part.